Imagine you're trying to deactivate a bomb with a red, yellow, and blue wire. Okay. Now, one of these wires is the correct option, and snipping it it's usually the red one in movies. It will stop the bomb from exploding, but the okay. other two wires will cause the bomb to go off if they're snipped. You choose the yellow wire. Oh, no, this bomb doesn't look that big. You probably can escape in 41 seconds. But before you snip it, you receive a text from the bomb's manufacturer who is watching you on a security Oh, you're trapped. You probably couldn't leave. Camera. He informs you that the red wire would detonate the bomb. So now you must mm. choose between yellow or blue. And you might assume that it doesn't matter because it's 50-50. No, it's not because he introduced new information. So your initial choice is going to remain one in three chance. But if you switch your choice, it goes up to two in three chance. So you should switch because that action was not independent. But that's not actually the case. In the beginning, each wire had a one third chance of being correct. When you chose yellow, the other two wires had a combined chance of two thirds. And when red was identified as the wrong wire, the odds didn't actually change. They were just reflected onto the blue wire. It's just like reactor design. If one of your safety systems fails, the remaining probability gets shifted to the other two. And there probability of success functionally increases. Which means your chances are better if you switch to blue. There's always less than five seconds on these things.